We have to live our life like Revelation 3.11 as if it depends on it. Because it does. Welcome to Unifier TV where truth has no fear. I'm talking about the verse Revelation 3.11. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man may take that crown. Now, a lot of people are afraid to read the book of Revelation because it talks about the end and how things are going to go out. To me, it's not it should not be a scary book because if you know where you're going, do you know who your God is? You should anticipate that day. You should be ready for that day. I'm not saying go around suicidal. I'm not saying go around just ready to die. But at the same time, if you feel like your time is coming or you see this world going in a crazy way and they, they might start executing Christians and, you know, things are just going to straight hell. Have confidence that you know where you're going. The way I look at it, the people who have already passed, whether it's from this deal that we're going through here or the people died of natural causes, they are blessed. They are blessed. They are more blessed than we are because they don't have to be here on this earth to endure this stuff. I do believe that things will get better. I think things are already getting better, even though you can't really tell by some of the things in the media, but things are getting better. However, the devil is going to return seven times stronger. Not to say we can't defeat him, but at the same time, if you have been, if you have been promoted and you've graduated to heaven, you're blessed. They are blessed up there. They don't have to endure all this stuff. The verse says, hold that fast, which thou hast. What is it that you're holding fast to? You're holding fast to the word. You're holding fast to the promises of God. The word of God is a sword, the sword of the spirit. And it's the most powerful weapon that you could ever use. It can beat any boxer. It can beat any Kung Fu artist. It can beat any bullet, sword, any weapon that you could come up with. The word of God is more powerful than all of them. It is the bread of life and it is the sword of the spirit. So when you hold fast the word and the spirit of God and the Holy Spirit for guidance and lean on the promises of the word, you allow that to flush out the things in the media, flush out the things that you're seeing around you or the things that they might do already doing things that they say are coming, all this fear mongering, all this kind of stuff. If you allow the word of God to outweigh that, you will win every time. God can and will give you supernatural favor over the results of everyone else. They also, God doesn't play favorites. No, he doesn't play favorites. However, he told us how to get favor. And we get favor by holding on to the promises of his word and speaking into our lives. We have so much power that we don't exercise. It's ridiculous. There's no reason why we should continue to get the results of other people because we are not like other people. We have supernatural favor. When we cling to the word, when we cling to his promises, when we speak into our lives, when we operate in complete blind faith, that is how breakthroughs happen when they don't happen for everybody else. This should be a regular thing amongst amongst Christians. When you hold fast to what you have, no one can take your crown. Taking your crown would mean you're giving up your seat in heaven. You are giving up your mansion in heaven where the streets are paved with gold. The only way to give that up is if you give up your crown. And you give up your crown when you decide to turn away from the word, turn away from God, give up and say, Lord, I cannot do this anymore. And yeah, God does forgive us. God is a God of forgiveness. However, the Bible says it's worse for the person who turns away from me than he who never knew me at all. So you give up your crown when you decide to not live in faith anymore, to give it all up and just go the way of the devil, to go down that wide road as opposed to continuing to walk on the narrow road. That's how you give up your crown. Hold that fast, which thou hast, that no man may take your crown. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to hold on to. And that's what you have to remember. No one can take your crown unless you give it away, just like your rights. So remember who your source is. Remember where your power comes from. And remember that you are a natural born overcomer. Thank you for tuning in. This has been brought to you by BioTrust. BioTrust plant protein and superfood protein mix is a game changer for me. You got to check this stuff out. It works perfectly with your favorite drink. I personally like to mix it with water because of how rich it is. You can also mix it with milk. You can make a smoothie out of it. Put it in a blender with some fruit. However you want to do it, don't just take my word for it. You got to check it out for yourself. So click the link in the description and go ahead and 
give it a shot. You will not regret it. And don't forget, every order you place through BioTrust feeds a hungry child. So keep that in mind. While you're benefiting, the children are also benefiting.